Gary Ling explains how ILM solutions can reduce the cost of managing ever-increasing amounts of data while simultaneously transforming it into relevant, accessible business information. HP is very qualified to offer ILM solutions today. We know data, applications, and we know your business. In the area of data and applications, let's look at Oracle. A third of all Oracle runs on HP. If you look at email, Microsoft Exchange, over 40 million exchange seats have been installed by HP. In the area of SAP, HP owns more than 50% of the market share. And we certainly know your business. In the area of manufacturing, nine out of the top 10 automotive companies run HP. Transportation, four out of the world's five largest airlines. Telecommunications, 80% of Europe's mobile billing and traffic is powered by HP. And in financials, 95% of the world's securities transactions. Utilities, 65% of the world's energy infrastructure. And lastly, in the area of global, 100% of the Fortune 100 are powered by HP. So clearly, we're well qualified in terms of understanding the business, as well as understanding your applications and your information. Some considerations uh, for implementing ILM solutions are a thing I like to call the ILM SPA, or the state, placement, and availability of your information. So let's talk about those individually. In the area of state, it really is the, the data itself. Is it physical or is it digital? And then what type of information? Is it paper or film? And then look at actually the information itself. Is it transactional? Is it operational? Is it referenceable information, i.e. static or fixed? And then looking at the data types themselves, as we know there are many different types of information, audio, video. So you're looking at the structured information, that could be databases or semi-structured with email and unstructured content, meaning files. And then what policies do I need to apply to that information? Also take into consideration the value of that information. And does the value of that information change over time? Can it be archived? Does it need to be online or offline? And can it be deleted? And if so, when? Also take into account the security level, the access rights to that information. And does that change over time based on your business policies? and also to ensure that you have policies in place to enforce these changes. The P in the SPAR acronym is all about the placement of your information. Where to store it, and more importantly, where to store it initially, and then over time. And does that change uh, by policy? For example, does it move from primary to secondary storage? Does it go from online to offline? And there are other ways of looking at things like tiered storage, you know, tiering it within a device by RAID type, by disk type, and, and do I know the cost of those individual storage elements? And the policy of when to move it from one tier to another, and when to move it to the trash, or, or rather when it can be deleted. And making sure that you have policies to enforce those changes over time. The A in SPA is about availability availability of that information, whether it be in a high-performance environment, mid-tier or low-tier, should it be replicated for high availability requirements, which applications should have access to it and which users, and then also taking into consideration which devices, the storage, the servers, the PCs, the PDAs, and even the, top of the phone itself, and ensuring that you have policy enforcement as this changes over time. The net result of an ILM strategy is cost savings, cost avoidance, improved performance, efficiency and availability of data for your competitive advantage. In summary, the uh, information lifecycle management, there are a number of considerations here that I've outlined in the areas of state, placement and availability. And HP has the products, the technologies, the solutions and the services to enable you, the customer, to be able to implement this efficiently. To get the facts, go to hp.com and review the Real Stories series. For products, services, and solutions on ILM, you can contact HP Authorized Reseller or an HP Direct Sales Representative.